Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I'm going to show you how to make the best hot dogs you could possibly make. Deep fried hot dogs. Yep. So you're going to need a few things, as you can see right here. You're going to need some hot dog buns, your assortment of condiments. I'm also having chicken soup for lunch. You'll need a little bit of oil, and that'll take us to step one. What we're going to do here is take a little oil, put a pan on your stove, get your heat up to about medium, maybe a little bit between medium and medium high and add a thin layer of oil. You just want to put enough oil in to cover the pan bottom. It doesn't need to be full. You're not going to go for immersion here. And we're just going to let that start warming up. And while we're doing that, let's get our hot dogs ready. All right, so you can do this with any kind of hot dog. The best hot dog you can get is one that has natural skin casing. I don't have any of those available today, so I picked up a pack of Nathan's. But Nathan's, Sabrettes, um, Gosh, any of the real high-end brands will work fine. The Jawalti, the house brands, the ones that are like a dollar, dollar twenty-five a pack, those tend not to cook very well. They tend to just blacken. But anyway, got some Nathan's here. I'm gonna cut this package open, take out three dogs, and I'll show you the secret to making really, really good deep-fried hot dogs. Okay, so I've got my three hot dogs here. All right, so for my hot dogs. The trick to making a deep fried hot dog even better than it already is, and you can do this a variety of ways, but I find the easiest and simplest way to go about this, just take a knife and lightly score two sides of it. Just put little teeny cuts, maybe eighth of an inch deep at most. And you roll them over, do the same thing to the other side. Real light cutting there. As we put this in the oil and it deep fries, it'll get extra crispy because that oil will get in between these cuts. And it'll make for a nice crispy dog. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the uh, oil to warm up, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some onions. The traditional way to have a hot dog is, of course, hot dog, onions, and mustard on a bun. You can do it anyway. If you don't know about the joys of hot dogs, you're really missing out. Nuclear dogs, Texas dogs, Chicago dogs, North Carolina style dogs, New York style dogs, I mean, you name it. There's a lot of options for condiments. Me, I'm going with a mostly traditional. The only change up I'm having here is I am going to have some relish and some cheese on my dogs. All right, that oil ought to be hot enough to start, so let's go back over to the pan. All right, so like I said, medium heat on this. We're gonna go ahead and put our dogs in. And we're gonna let that get started. We'll just let those cook while we're finishing uh, getting our buns ready. All right, so while the hot dogs are cooking, I've come back over here, got my chicken soup, I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna microwave that, nothing fancy there. Get that going. And I got my buns and my condiments, so uh, go ahead and open those up. Like I said, uh, pretty much having traditional dogs here. I am going to uh, put some cheese on there. Put a little on each one down the bed there. Those hot dogs will melt that cheese pretty good when they come out of the fryer. Let's go check on our dogs. We'll roll them over. Okay, so as we can see, they're already starting to brown. We'll just roll those over. Let both sides get a chance to cook. And I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera here, but as you can see, those those cuts I made, really light cuts, they're starting to expand out. That allowing that oil to get in there and crisp all that up really nicely. All right, so back over here, a couple of my dogs. I'm gonna put some onions on. If you have children, they're probably not a big fan of onions, but as adults, we kind of grow into that, don't we? All right, I think I'll have a little bit of relish on the one in the center, just to mix it up.
as you can see, hot dogs are browning up really nicely. Go ahead and flip those over, let them cook just a little bit more. Now, depending on how you like your hot dogs, I like mine to be really crispy. If you have a skin on dog, you'll know that it's ready when the skin actually rips open. They call it a ripper. In this case, these aren't skin on dogs, but you can just kind of judge by looking at them when they're done. Nice, the darker brown, obviously, the more cooked they are. So we'll let that cook for just a little bit longer, and it'll be ready to pull them off and dry them out. You can see the dogs are pretty well done. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off of here. Just put them onto a paper towel to get some of that excess grease to, uh, to run off. And then we'll move our pan off of heat here and turn that off. All right. So we'll let the dogs sit here. I might roll them over, just try to get some of the fat off of them. Most of it comes out naturally. You'd be surprised. It's not a very oily or greasy, even though it seems like it would be. Right, now we're ready to put those dogs onto our hot dog buns. Put a little mustard on there. Grab our soup, and it's ready to have a relaxing Saturday afternoon. We're almost done now. We're just going to take our hot dogs here, put them in our buns. And again, I'm going to add a little mustard to all of these. Oh. And that is it. Soup, can of soda, three deep fried hot dogs. That took less than 10 minutes start to finish, and that ain't a bad deal. I hope you enjoyed the uh, educational video on how to make one hell of a good deep fried hot dog. And if you like this video and many others that I've been producing lately, please feel free to subscribe. Because mm. <laughs> there'll be more just like them. Take care.